Hi, my name is Elsie Williams and I'm in San Diego, California. And I'm making this audio file on Portal 7 2013, which you can clearly see. It's almost dark out, so I'm going to hurry up and make this audio file as fast as I, uh, video file as fast as I possibly, possibly can. In reference to transferring over a video, uh, audio file from uh, 0403 2013, while I was in the law library on Front Street in downtown San Diego. What I was doing was I was using their earphones that are attached to their computers. And I took this digital tape recorder that you see right here, okay? And what I did was I put their earphones that are attached to their computers that are always hung on the back of the monitors. If you were to go into the law library and look at their computers, once you sit down in front of them, you could stand up and look behind their monitors and you'll see a set of headphones. They're usually beige. And they look somewhat, something like this, but theirs are bigger. Okay, and what I did was I took the headphones off my head because I, I stumbled across some YouTube videos that had to do with remote neural monitoring. And so what I did was I took my digital tape recorder out of the pouch that's attached to my bra on my chest and put this digital tape recorder inside of the earphones that are connected to their monitors in order to record the audio from the YouTube video that I was watching concerning remote neural monitoring. And as it was transferring the audio of the YouTube video, I was doing work on the computer. And as a result of being distracted, as a result of being distracted from the, uh, from the video, because the earphones were in my lap, okay? The earphones were in my lap position like this. Do you see these earphones right here? This is a separate set of earphones in reference to the earphones that I'm using with this digital tape recorder. Right now, the earbuds that are attached to this digital tape recorder right now, okay? are literally attached to and taped to this video camera that I'm taking this video picture of, okay? These are a separate set of headphones. Their headphones are identical almost in size, but they're a different color. And what I did was I took this digital tape recorder out of the pouch that was attached to my bra, and then I set the, mic the microphones on the top. So in order for me to record the audio of the YouTube video that I was watching, I placed their headphones in my lap, and then place the microphone from this digital tape recorder right into the headphone. And then continue to do work while the audio from that YouTube video was transferring over. Now, in order to position the headphones in my lap, and then to be able to hold the digital tape recorder with my leg, so it would stay in the earphone while I was using my hands to type and research, it would occasionally fall out a little bit. Okay? Plus, I would get distracted in reference to what I was doing online. So what's the point I'm trying to make? As I was transferring the audio from this YouTube video concerning remote neural monitoring at their library, the uh, uh, once I started transferring the audio from the YouTube video, I started doing my work. And as a result, I opened up, I maximized other windows that I had this other work in. As a result, the YouTube video window was minimized. Okay? And I started continuing to do the other work that I was doing while the audio from that YouTube video was transfer, uh, transferring over. Once that YouTube video stopped, I didn't know it because the earphones were in my lap. I couldn't hear when the actual YouTube video stopped and the YouTube video window was minimized. So why am I saying this? Because of what was caught in the environment in the law library once the YouTube video audio, once the YouTube video stopped, the audio of it stopped as well. And as a result, the digital tape recorder caught what was picked up in my environment in the law library. So what I've done is I fast-forwarded. You can see that the, the date of this YouTube video was made. I'm trying to show it to you. It's getting dark out, so I'm, I'm, you can, I think you can see it right there. Uh, let me get my flashlight. And uh, the flashlight will show you. Uh, just bear with me one second. I've got to get it out so I can show you the date. And the time, and I can prove I was there because of additional things that are on the audio file of that day, including open harassment that occurred towards me within, I think, about 45 minutes after I predicted it might when I arrived and locked up my bike. Because that's what organized gang stalking expeditions do is have you stalked and harassed everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. Go to YouTube and type in gang stalking bullying on steroids. You can clearly hear that guy who's being covered on the news stating he's harassed everywhere he goes. Everywhere he goes. Now this is showing you the attempt I'm attempting to show you the date of the audio file. I think you can see it. 403 
four, the month four is in the middle, the three is on the right, and the thirteen is on the left. Okay? And, uh, see if this shows you any better. Anyways, it was done on 403, 2013. I believe the audio file started around, I don't even have my glasses on hand. <clears throat> Alright, see, the audio file, see, this light in here is a pain in the ass. 403, 2013, and the audio file started at 2.22 exactly p.m. And what I'm about ready to show you right now is the YouTube video audio has stopped because it ended. And I didn't know it because the, the tape recorder was inside the ear of the microphone and the, head, uh, the headphones and the headphones were on my lap. And I was doing work, okay? And the YouTube video window was minimized. I want you to listen to how you hear Gang Stalker being constantly repeated around me. Listen. Okay, now a second video has started, and when that one ends, you'll hear it again. And so what I'm, what I'm doing is just letting you know that uh, it was caught even after this video concerning remote neural monitoring. The first video was about cell phone hacking using snooper technology, which is another technological resource of organized gang stalking expeditions, where they would literally hijack your phone. Okay, and use it not only as a GPS tracker to track you, but they will also use it in reference to it. They'll use the the camera of it, and they'll also to try and watch what you're doing. And they'll use the thing that you speak into as a microphone. Yeah, that's what the first part of the audio file is about, and the second part is about the remote neural monitoring. In fact, I'll let I'll let you listen to this for a little bit concerning the remote neural monitoring YouTube video. And LWs, directed energy weapons, EWs, and satellites, what is known as remote neural monitoring. Remote neural monitoring. Short description of the remote neural monitoring. Remote neural monitoring has the following capabilities. Tracking. Remote neural monitoring is able to lock up a human being and track that person around. Mind reading. Remote neural monitoring is able to read that person's mind and give response, answer, and lie over TV or radios to what you say or think privately to yourself. Assaults is able to hit the person with directed energy and All right, so for you to scrutinize what remote neural monitoring is, you can go to the bottom of Freedom from Covert Harassment and Surveillance, look on the bottom of their homepage, and you can YouTube it as well. Now, there's once that video stopped, because I was taping the audio of the video in my lap, once that video stopped, they went right back to the same tactic. In fact, let's see if I can, let's see if I can, um, Let's see if I can fast forward it so you can hear it, because then you'll be able to hear it twice being done. See, I think you just heard gangs talking in the background. Hang on. These articles appear to be an obvious attempt to legitimize it. Readers and eyes organized. All right, now listen. There's about a minute and a half left before this audio file is turned off. Listen.
Alright, that was in the law library on uh, April 3rd, 2013. The audio files started at around 2.22, but there were multiple audio files concerning that date and it being at the law library. Where gang stalking flat out said on other audio files, I just haven't filtered through them yet. See, what you got people to understand is that when I make these audio files, some audio files are 37 minutes in length, some are 45, some are 2 hours, some are 10 minutes, some are 8 minutes, some are 7 minutes. And they have to go back and filter through the numerous audio files that are dedicated to just one day concerning the harassment, non-stop harassment, that is cleverly and overtly brought about towards me using sensitization methods. And they're hard to distinguish that they're happening to me, around me, because people don't know how I've been sensitized, and that's why I make these videos. They're literally getting around me and having the audacity to say, Gang stalker, gang stalking, gang stalker, gang stalking, oh my god, gang stalker, everywhere I go, back to back, multiple times. And they, they insert these words inside of conversations they're having. So people that are walking around me, whether it be at a CBS, a restaurant, a movie theater, a bank, they don't know this is happening because they don't know I'm, it's happening to me, for one. They don't know about gang stalking sensitization, for two. And they're not paying attention to what's being said every single second concerning somebody's separate conversation that they're having as they're walking in and out of the environment that I'm in. They're not paying attention to that. They're paying attention to what they're, why they're there. They're going to CVS to buy milk, groceries, like they should be. Okay? But what I do is I predict what I'll hear before I get there. In a video file and in an audio file. And, I'll, and in the video file, I show the date and time because I show my cell phone. Then I state where I'm going. And I got this digital tape recorder running on me at all times. And if this digital tape recorder states... When I, when I state in a video file that I'm going to hear gang stalking once I get to the law library or to Ralph's, and then I go there and it's caught... The receipt that I buy when I go to Ralph's, when I buy something, shows the date and time. It's a later time in reference to the video prediction concerning the fact that I said that once I get to Ralph's, I'll hear gang stalking. Do you see what I'm saying? They had to track me there in order to put this organized harassment around me once I got there. Which shows criminal intent, malice of forethought, yes, obstructing of justice and their election of duty and gross negligence of duty concerning the San Diego police. And you better believe they know I know it. I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. I make these videos to inform, to expose the truth concerning the factual realities of how I'm gang stalked along all my routes, cleverly and creatively harassed overtly in order to remind me that I'm a victim of this crime by getting around me and literally mentioning the name of the crime that's happening to me. Thank you.